be really fun for him. Oh, oh, what? So now you're interested. Okay, well, it was so scary before. Now, now we're, now it's game. Hi guys, I'm Anna with Parrot's Life for Me, and this is Milton, my cockatiel. Um, he probably won't hang out with us very long. He loves his dad. Um, I am, oh, his dad's calling him. He can hang out with me. <laughs> um, we are going to go over some Bonka toys. There he goes. Um, some Bonka toys, Bonka bird toys um, that I ordered. Um, I ordered them online a couple weeks ago. They received, I received them in the mail very speedy fast. Um, I'm very pleased with the quality of everything I got. Um, two toys are actually um, shreddied a little bit, so I will show you those. They're favorites. I knew they would be just looking at them, but um, I was very excited to receive them. And then I've got a little sneak peek um, Etsy shop that I will tell you guys about at the very end. Um, but I'll start with, I guess, the ladder. So this ladder, and I don't have the names of these things, I'm so sorry. Um, I threw away my order form, but this ladder, I remember it was only $9.99. So that was pretty cool. It has two little bells on it. It actually came with some um, like rope tie, like dog chew toys. Um, and I will show a picture right over here of what that looked like in the cage. Um, and I sent a picture to my breeder and she said, oh, those are really dangerous. And I thought, oh, I hadn't thought about those. We, don't, we haven't used them. And I hadn't looked into rope toys like that for birds. Um, I have a spiral rope in one of my cages, but it doesn't have like stringy on it. So I just tie, untied them. It was really simple. So we have this, and this is going to go in our little baby mustaches cage. Um, I thought it would be fun. It seemed like a decent size um, and kind of interactive and colorful. And there's space in there that we can have something like this. She'll need a ladder maybe to go from perch to perch in the beginning. Um, so I'm really happy with it. We'll see how this fares. Um, I actually tied it up in the cage a little wide so it would be less movie. Um, so it would be more stable on the cage. So I had it up on the bars on the top and I'll show you a cage of what it looks like. Oh, something just fell. Oh, it was this. Um, but I will show you a picture over here of what it looks like in the cage with some of the other stuff that we have um, after I took the um ties off of it and then the next thing this is the only thing i'm like kind of a little like eh about i considered returning it we'll figure out a use for it but i probably need to buy bigger washers for it but it is a rope perch and normally i like to move my rope perches um when i do my cage um adjustments i move the rope perch from an inside one to outside Kind of use it so we might go back and forth with the ladder to see what she likes um to see if we can figure out some sort of a a rhythm if she likes one more than the other if she uses one if she doesn't um but this was my rope perch i purchased but you can see that the washers are smaller than here and it just literally goes right through the cage i can't mount it at all so I need to get bigger washers, but my other rope perch has like a plastic situation that like, it's like a two prong plastic thing. And then the other plastic screws on top of it and it's really secure. So I'm probably gonna order one of those. And I'm saying order because as we know, we're all in quarantine. <laughs> so I have not been going out. Um, I will frequent my local bird store as much as possible, but it is really just too far for me to drive. I don't find it necessary to go out of my house that far um, right now. So I've been ordering stuff. Um, so this is my bulk of bird toys order. And then we have, I showed you in the um, parrot station toy box that I opened that I had ordered one of, that I had ordered one of these. Well, I found this pack of three after I had ordered the one from parrot station. So I don't see any difference in them, um, but I saw, like I said in that video, that um, Ashley's bird Merlot from Merlot and Family really just kind of took to this, so I figured it'd be a good fit toy, and for a baby, it's really light, so hopefully she likes these, and then I, I was hoping Milton would too, but Milton is just, 
terrified of it. Like, don't come near him. See, he's like, he's up here right now. You want to come over here? Want to come say hi? Do you, you see these? The bag might be a little scary. But there's like straight ones I purchased, and it was five, a set of six on them. And I thought it would be really fun for him. Oh, oh, what? So now you're interested. Okay, well, it was so scary before. Now, now we're, now it's game. Okay, well, look at that. Hey, <laughs> the magic of filming something. We caught it right here. That's so cool. Um, I love that sound of them just tearing into something. It just makes me feel so happy. Like my eyes water because it's just so exciting for me. Um, I don't know why I'm going to cry because I'm like, oh, look at him. He's going to be a baby. Okay. The next thing we'll see if we can kind of keep showing stuff as he's like sitting here going to town because that's really cool, right? Um, I got a little perch it's a new generation pedicure perch a safety perch recommended for extra small birds now i got this for the mustache parakeet because she's gonna grow but she's smaller now and i figured this would be a really good little tiny perch to put on the outside of her cage so that she can just kind of sit um if she wants to we'll move it around and see if she uses it it's comfortable if we need to put it in the cage we'll do that um, but i thought it was a really cool little Perch. Um, I try not to keep dowel rods in my cage, but it actually turns out that Milton um, prefers them. Um, he was sleeping on the bottom of his cage, so we called the vet and she said, I think it's a perch issue. So we're going to have to go through and explore little perch options for him. He is loving this. This is so great. Yeah, it's so wonderful. Uh, and then they actually gave me a little bag of very tiny beads that I don't know why in my order as a thank you and I appreciate the thank you I just did little tiny beads I have two little boys and I was gonna say they're choking hazards they're not but they just would end up a mess on the floor so um but they also sent a little football football ball foot toy hand foot toy what do we call these I don't know it's pink it's cute um totally I'm excited about this I've seen a lot of birds like this Milton loves little toys like this I have some for him and this one's pink. I don't stereotype colors, but we um, will give this to, I almost said what I think her name's going to be. I'm going to keep it a secret for a little bit longer, but um, yeah, because I'm not sure. And I'd hate to like have the public know this fake, this name and it not be it. And then it's just kind of like, not it. Wow, it is all over the desk. This is so fun. Um, okay. And then this is a, oh, oh, oh. This is a favorite of Milton's and they had a four pack of it. And these are the sneakers. Milton loves playing with the shoelaces. That's how I knew he would love playing with the um, shoelace toy from the Feathered Fun Box. But he loves these. He chews with the rubber around and his one of our dogs who unfortunately has passed since but had tore up one of his shoes and he kind of liked where the dog had chewed the fabric because he can't really tear through the fabric or maybe he just hasn't attempted to, but he kind of frays with the end where the dog had chewed it up. But I figured you could always have more on hand. We could have some for the mustache and have some for Milton. Oh, he is just loving this. I love it. Um, the next two toys, <laughs> two toys are very much loved. Um, we are big fans of these toys. I will be continuing ordering these from Bonka Toys. You can find coupons for their um, site online. It's way fun. But this one, I don't, like I said, I don't know what they're called. Um, but this one had a bunch of dollar and like cards on it. And you can see it is very well loved, very well chewed. Milton loves little cards, cardboard. Oh, we're stretching. It was so hard. Back at it. Um, and then it has the crinkles. Minkle, minkle. <laughs> Milton loves Minkle loves crinkles. <laughs> Milton loves crinkles. Um, and he's actually getting to the foam on top. Now the one thing I wish this toy was was I wish there was a way for me without having to use pliers to reset it because we have tons of like. Magic the Gathering cards we don't use, tons of Pokemon cards we don't use, we're gamers, we've owned a game store, we have lots and lots of like extra. So it, 
I need to check to make sure that the content of those are bird safe, but um, oh, oh, I think that that would be a lot of fun just to kind of read. And I have a, uh, um, a um, skewer toy that I could do that with, but we kind of keep one of the bigger one of these balls with crinkle paper in it. But, and then the last one is other than cards and cardboard, one of Milton's favorite things. Now I'm starting to think this is going to be one of his favorite things. Um, but one of his favorite things is a um, the finger traps. So I saw this toy and I thought, well, isn't that perfect for Milton? Because it has so many finger traps on it. You can see he's got the top ones kind of like shredded. He's not too much into the heart. And I think it's because there's more favorite things with this toy. But what's interesting about this toy is he perches on it. Okay, I'll put that down for you. He perches on it and then he'll play with this for a little bit and then he'll go to town chewing it. So it's it's interesting to me that he chooses to try to like use it as a perch. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up on the, the rope perch I have here. Wanna come over here? Wanna shoulder with me? Um, but we have this and you can put little, oh, we've used little, um, put little millet in these little packets right here. It's really cool for foraging. Um, and I've tried to get millet in here and he's got it in doubt. He's got it out. It's a little more difficult to put it in the heart. Um, but that is the end of my Bonka toy haul. I hope you liked that. I have one little sneak peek of an Etsy shop that I ordered from as well. And I'm just gonna put it on with this cause it's smaller and I'm, I don't know. So the Etsy shop is called Berber and it's um, B-I-R-B-E-R-B-E-R. -E -B 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 -E and um, you can find them on Instagram at Berber. And I'll just put that right here. Oh, it probably flips it, darn. Um, I'll put it down in the description below. But I saw that Archie the Cockatiel's mom had um, ordered some leggings from them and I was like, oh, those are super cute. So I went and I checked out the entire um, Etsy shop and I found some things I'm excited about. The first thing is my coaster. It's little sushi birds. Don't we love that? It is so cute. Um, I love the little salmon green cheek. It is so cute. Um, so I keep this by my bed and I put my water cup on it. So I got this arm on. I talked about that um, in one of my videos, but I did put the little Brando sticker there. <laughs> I love that sticker. And then Berber actually sent me some stickers with my order and they might be hard to see, but I've, oh no, you can see them. I put them up and around on my cup. And I love this cup, by the way. Like I don't sell Arbon or anything like that, but this cup is super awesome. Like it has a lid. And I'm a straw drinker, but I actually don't need a straw for this. Like, I am queen of messes when I drink, so straws are my friends. But this actually I haven't had any spills with. Um, but then the other thing I ordered was a mess of post-it notes. And they are so cute. So this is just a little notepad. It's got little birds around it. And then I have two of this post-it so cute. And then I have, this was a little set. It was a garden set. They're two different sizes because I'm, play, I've planted a garden that I am doing that's a quarantine thing. I kind of started, which I'm going to hopefully keep up with, but I did some self, um, sustaining, whatever. I don't know the terms, but I did berries and stuff that we could share with our birds, stuff that um, is bird friendly. We're doing it organically so that the birds can have it so we can eat it. I've got strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. I'm gonna get summer squash planted. I have the seeds, they were delivered. Then I have a nec two nectar, uh, oh my God, not nectarine, <laughs> apricot trees being delivered. And an indoor pomegranate, which I'm super excited about. It's a dwarf. But then there's the last little post-it. But anyway, so that was my Berber. Check them out on Etsy. Super cute stuff. I wanted to order a bunch more, but I just had to stop myself because I buy a lot when I'm on quarantine, apparently. Um, I have some more videos coming up. I have a video coming for Hoot and Holler Bird Toys. 
They are amazing. I cannot wait to show you. That was another one I was recommended to by Archie the Cockatiel's mom. She has her YouTube channel and um, she recommended one of their toys and they were out of stock of that toy. It was a mahogany board thing and I actually got it ordered because they stocked back up on it. So I'm getting that in the mail sometime this week and then if you check out their Instagram at Hoot and Holler, um, they have this new tower. Um, it's a foraging tower and I had them customize mine so that it can sit on the table because this is where my significant other, husband, whatever you want to call him, we're not actually married, but we basically are. We have two kids together and he sits here and he streams on his um, mixer channel and the bird loves to come over here and get into all kinds of trouble. The shoelaces have helped. I think these are going to be fun. He's probably not going to love the stuff on his desk, but these are now going to be over here for distractions. Um, but I figured a tower over here would be really cool because he would be able to be, have a fully functional playground in a small space that um, can keep him away from the wires and stuff he really wants to go for, which he really is not allowed to. Um, but that's what I have today. Thank you for watching. Please follow me on Instagram at parrot.life.for.me. Um, I will have the link down below and there'll be a little image at, during the outro. But thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and have a great day. Bye. I'm Anna and this is Parrot's Life for Me.